Welcome to The Sun Today for the 16th of February, 2022. There was a huge explosion on the sun last night. We'll start with a sequence of events going from right to left across the page here. On the right, we have an image from the Solar Dynamic Observatory AIA instrument taken in helium-2304, showing the explosion from behind the limb. Note the size of the Earth in the bottom left of the frame. This is a truly huge event. Moving just over an hour later in the middle frame, we have a picture from the SOHO LASCO C2 instrument. That's the high resolution inner field of view. Note the size of the sun in the center of this. So you can imagine what the size of the Earth is in this frame. And you can see there's a very bright explosion going off the northeast limb. That bright area is the prominence or filament that erupted away from the sun. And you can see all around the sun there seems to be a halo coronal mass ejection. That's one that's either coming towards us or going away from us. And that's important because if it's coming towards us, then we're going to have a major geomagnetic storm. In the third frame, taken at 3.32 on the 16th, you can see that this structure has moved further out into space, note the size of the sun again, uh, and is moving out into the interplanetary medium. The question is, what will it do next? So let's take a look at some movies of this. We'll start with the AIA instrument, Helium-2304. This is a transition region line with a temperature of about 50,000 degrees. And we're looking at the eruption from behind the limb. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of data, so you're going to have to be very careful here. I'm going to do three repeats so you get a chance to see it. Well, what can we conclude from all of this? We note the relative size of the Earth. This is a very, very large explosion. It was clearly from behind the east limb of the sun, not only from the helium-2304 images, but if you look at the other AIA coronal channels, they show no uh, sign of this event. So it was a long way behind the limb and therefore a relatively big event. Next, we'll take a look at the SOHO LASCO C2 instruments data. That is the high resolution images of the inner corona. It's done in visible light. So this is light scattering off the material as it moves away from the sun. And of course, it shows coronal mass ejections very clearly, which is what we're really after here. Again, I'll do three repeats. The thing to note here is that the size of the sun is much smaller than it was in the helium-2304 image. So you can imagine what size the Earth was by comparison. The bright material you see here is the remnant of the filament that erupted from behind the limb. And the velocity that was measured by the coronagraph was about 1600 kilometers per second. That's very fast. That's probably four times the speed of the solar wind. Lastly, we'll take a look at the data from the SOHO LASCO C3 instrument. This is the large field of view, but it's at lower resolution. You can see again the, the CME moving out. Again, note the size of the sun in this image with respect to the last one. That gives you an idea of scale here. So this was really very large. This coronal mass ejection was many times the size of the sun. In this sequence of images, we can see how the CME spreads into interplanetary space. It becomes many times the size of the sun, dwarfing the sun. These, in fact, are the largest objects in the solar system. But it will not affect the Earth because it was too far east. In fact, it was behind the east limb. So this is unlikely they will show any effects here on Earth. However, NOAA seems to think differently. And that's probably because there was a halo CME at this time. 
Now, a Heo CME means that something's either coming straight at you or going away from you. I'm betting the latter. Noah seems to think it's the former. And we'll see what uh, transpires in a couple of days' time. Well, let's take a look at what Noah forecasts. So that's it for today. There are actually other things going on, which I will try to feature later if I have time. But in the meantime, just sit back, enjoy the show and stay calm. And so until next time, be safe and goodbye.